Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf for one and only. How are all my adventures doing? Welcome back to another video. Um, this video will be on my game, Monster Girl Utopia. And here's a new poll, actually, that I put up like a few days ago, five days ago. So, uh, I wanted to explain this poll because I felt like it would be a little bit confusing to be honest. So let me just go ahead and start explaining it a little bit more. Then I'm going to repost this because usually I do explain my polls and you know what they are. I just totally forgot to do it this time. So this poll right here is depending on what type of gameplay you guys want in the overworld. So in the overworld, it is either between semi-open world to where you guys can walk through grass, encounter monster girls, you know, travel to different towns, travel through different routes, stuff like that. And this can actually be, you know, like very a long development time, probably to seven to eight years, something like that. Uh, the second choice is more of just dungeon and tower focused to where you would go into dungeons and encounter monster girls instead of, you know, having to out, out, out yeah, overworld like traveling and stuff like that. And it will have precisely generated dungeons and, you know, you would come back to your main village, you know, do all that stuff as well. Maybe travel through different cities and kingdoms. So could take a lot less time for than the semi world. So there is one thing that I thought would be confusing is, you know, coming out of the dungeon and craft it. I plan on still making dungeons inside of the semi open world. This is how Monster Girl is going to Monster Girl Utopia is going to work. Monster Girl Utopia is going to have, you know, the whole fantasy adventurer type feel from other like anime games that have like this guild ranking system to where you level up yourself tank ranking quests and get into the higher rank of being an adventurer so that is going to be a thing so the semi open world is still going to have gear crafting you know resources stuff like that so i thought that would be a little bit confusing but if I took out, you know, the tr a lot of the traveling between different like cities and routes and stuff like that, I could just focus on dungeon and towers instead and set up a different story from what was going to be for this in the open world. Now, I don't mind doing either of these because it just tells me which one you guys are looking for. So that's the thing I wanted to discuss. There's still going to be crafting gear and, you know, getting gear from like dungeons and stuff like that. You know, there's still going to be quests that have you go inside of dungeons and take care of monster girls. There's still going to be quests that take care of monster girls inside of the outside world and stuff like that. And then there inside the dungeon you're still gonna have quests that take you inside of dungeons inside of towers stuff like that and re resupply things just a whole bunch of things are still gonna happen it's just what approach do you guys feel like you would want to deal with more is the semi-open world of going back to your main town and resupplying and crafting your gear or would you guys prefer just to be able to travel around the maps that uh that we get done and be able to encounter most girls inside of you know grass and other things instead of just you know the dungeon i say i need this is what i was attempting to do but i totally just kind of dropped the ball on that i just made this and was just like throw it up <laughs> I, did, I just didn't go through it i haven't really been posting much on monster Girl utopia right now just because i've been either busy or playing games with friends with 
you know, the amount of downtime I have at the moment, my developers, you know, going through the monster data and doing stuff like that. Uh, recently checked in with him just to see what the progress was. It's going to be a while, but um, I'm also going to be back into doing more battle layouts because I've been actually playing a lot of different games. You guys have noticed this and most of you guys who join my stream, I tell you guys, I don't just play games just to play them. I do take inspirations from a lot of things and I've taken inspiration from um, Conan Exile because I have plans for like the stats and leveling for the Monster Girls that will actually be very interesting for you guys. So just things to keep in mind that when I'm playing a different game, I'm also thinking about my own game. I've talked about this a few times, just in case any of you guys are very new to the channel. But yeah, I'd say, I mean, I even taken like ideas from, well, things not to do from other games too. <laughs> things that might seem very annoying to a lot of players. That That's for sure. But uh, with that said, that is basically this poll. Thank you for, to the three people who have voted. Because this did sound more interesting than this. And I just needed to explain that because I thought that would be very, very, very misleading. So with that said, crafting stuff like that will be, you know, will be inside of both of these. Dungeons will be inside of both of these. So, yeah. But that's it. I will see you guys on the next one. And to them, peace out.